You know, with this being the 30th anniversary of Transformers, and with the fact that at the end of next month, we're getting the release of the fourth live-action Transformers film, Age of Extinction, which, of course, I know a lot of people refer to them as Bayformers. But as they say, you can't really judge a book by its cover until you give it a chance. And Age of Extinction looks like it may rectify some things of the past three. But the reason I bring this up is because there was one Transformers film that officially here in the U.S., even in Canada, if you're in, that here in the U.S., if in Canada as well, that has not officially got a Blu-ray release. Not officially here in North America. U.S. and Canada, that is. But for some odd reason, it's gotten a Blu-ray release everywhere else. It's gotten a Blu-ray release in the U.K., it's gotten a Blu-ray release in Australia, and probably several other countries, maybe even Japan, for all we know. And maybe even Mexico, we don't know that, but I digress. But the point is, here in the U.S. and in Canada, basically where Transformers made its name, uh, if you will, for the past 30 years, we have not seen an official Blu-ray release of this movie ever since Blu-rays were introduced to us several years ago. I mean, ever since the late 2000s, we have not seen a Blu-ray release. I mean, you would have thought that with the 20th anniversary back in 2006 of the movie itself, that with the advent of Blu-ray, they would have followed it up the following year with it being one of the first Blu-rays. You would think that. But they didn't. Instead, all we have was the 20th anniversary uh, DVD, which was okay, and it's still okay. But I believe that with the 30th anniversary of the franchise itself and the fact that we're actually getting another movie, live action wise, that you would think perhaps Paramount, who obviously owns the rights, according to Sarah Nizarak, to the movie, to Transformers the movie itself, would realize, hey, you know what, it's the 30th anniversary, we need as much publicity, as much support for this new movie let's bring out the original animated movie on Blu-ray, or at least let someone like Shop Factory do it. Well, unfortunately, until that time comes, there is an, op there is an alternative. That alternative is, is brought to us by one, if not two, uh, video distributors outside of North America, outside of the U.S. and outside of Canada, and of course, I'm talking about Metro Dome and in the UK and Mad Mad Entertainment out of Australia. Both have released, from what I can see, trans have released Transformers the movie on Blu-ray. Me, me being a, a Transformers fan myself, and of course, wanting to, you know, celebrate my celebrate me getting a job decided that one of the first Blu-rays I wanted to get would be the Transformers the Movie Blu-ray um, uh, Region Free Edition. And what I mean by Region Free is basically Mad Man Entertainment in Australia, and I don't know if this is the same for Metro Dome, has basically distributed a Region Free Blu-ray edition of Transformers the Movie. And just and, as I've mentioned in various videos before, and you can check those out on my uh, channel, this Blu-ray definitely cleans, definitely makes the movie look better than it ever has been. Now, true, you might say that it sounds like they took the audio track, perhaps, from Rhino, and they may have taken some of it from Rhino, but not all of it. But mainly, the movie is definitely cleaned up, definitely looks crisp and clearer, and just all out beautiful, if you know what I mean. The special features and everything that people were questioned about and wondered if they would work or not on a Region A player do work. So, yeah, it's definitely worth having, which is why I suggest to anybody out there, Sarah Nizerak, David Bunch of Numbers, uh, It's Frank, 
uh, Israel decoy, anybody out there that grew up in the 80s like I have, and watched Transformers the movie, you know, M-O-T-U, whatever you call it now, uh, whoever out there that watches my channel, supports it, or whoever, if you're a Transformers fan and you want to celebrate the 30th anniversary, my high, I highly recommend getting the Mad Men Entertainment, if not possibly, if it's also region free, the Metro Dome uh, Blu-ray releases of Transformers the movie. Because they are, this is probably going to be the only way you're going to get a Blu-ray edition of the movie. The only way. Now you might say to yourself, well Brian, it's going to cost a lot. Well if you go to Amazon.com or Amazon.ca, it's not going to cost as much as you think. The person I got it, got it from is known on, on Amazon.com as Transformer Specialist. And, ironically, he lives right here, in North, right here in Northern California, between Northern California and Central California. And it all depends on which version you get from him. Yes, he's got some Transformer movie copies, look like the Metro Dome ones that will go up to the hundreds, but some, like this one, will probably be in the 70s. So, it's just a suggestion for me to you. To me, overall, $70-something, I mean, $74 originally, shipping and all that, $78, it's not too bad. Especially when you consider this is the only Blu-ray edition you're going to find for right now, or, or, or along with the Metrodome one. So, all you have to do is look, go to Transformer Specialist, I'm pretty sure you can find it. Uh, type it in the search word at Amazon, and I'm sure, again, you'll be able to find it for a decent price. I mean, believe it or not, folks, with the 30th anniversary, it's worth having. And maybe by doing this and sending a message that, hey, look, Paramount, Hasbro, we got a Blu-ray edition from, we had to go and get a Blu-ray edition from another source kind of deal. Maybe it'll send a message to Paramount and Shop Factory and or Paramount and Hasbro, hey, Get your act together, get a Blu an official Blu-ray release, so the money goes to you guys and not to the outside uh, distributors, if you know what I mean, like Mad Men and, and Metro Go. But my highly recommend, but I highly recommend as a, for the 30th anniversary, as a Transformer fan to many others, get the Blu-ray edition, go to Amazon.com or Amazon.ca, get the Blu-ray edition, edition. There's two of them, Metro Dome and this one. I would highly try to recommend finding this one because it is cheaper. But it's all up to you. And that's all I'm going to say, folks. But that's my recommendation to you, especially with the 30th anniversary of Transformers. It's worth getting, folks, because it definitely looks very good on Blu-ray. And that's it. Till next time, comment below. God bless.